here we've got a case of a forwards bay park we've started off a fair distance back from the uh, the bay lines the ends of the bay lines which means you don't have to apply all the steering you can see how the student has steered around the two uh, most curvy lines the ones furthest to the right are the front tires and once you lose sight of the bay lines um, which you will do as the car's um, starting to go into the bay you then use some sort of reference point in front of you like the the wide tree that's just to the left of the bodywork of the car beyond the bay or it might be a, a post like that um, paid and displayed sign over there uh, something you've identified before you start to come into the bay and then the student has uh, once she's got into the bay she started steering to the right a little bit early you can see uh, how she's changed the position there and then brought the uh, the wheel back to the left so that the front tire is running alongside the bay line and then corrected the position of the front of the car so that the rear has ended up exactly um, where she wants it between the two lines and she's got a nice amount of distance at the back gone a little bit far forward just about to touch at the front but the car is fully within the bay which is exactly what's required on the forwards bay park on the driving test